For those who have chosen not to support me in the past, of which there were a few people, <laughs> I'm reaching out to you for your guidance and your help so that we can work together and unify our great country. The world was in shock this morning with the news that Donald J. Trump has been elected the 45th President of the United States of America. Momentum swung in Trump's favor after winning key battleground states, Florida, Ohio, Iowa, and North Carolina, to put him within touching distance of the presidency. Everybody's just like trying to realize what's going on here and like hopefully things will work out okay is kind of the, kind of the vibe. It's like, we didn't think this was happening, but it's happening. Like, it's always been a joke, but now, now it's just, it's actually happening, it's crazy. <laughs> um, it's very discouraging. I did not think it was going to happen. I told many people yesterday there was no way it was going to happen, but I was very shocked this morning when I woke up and very disappointed. The president-elect is planning to triple the U.S. deportation force, which could deport up to 1.2 million people per year. Um, well, I did a J1 last year, and it, like I'm lucky enough to be one of the people to actually go. And now that he's here, he's trying to get rid of J1s, and that's kind of given a lot of Irish students problems because they've already planned it, and now they're not going to be able to. At 70 years old, Trump is the oldest president to be elected to the White House, while his wife Melania from Slovenia will be the first foreign-born First Lady. Donald Trump will officially begin his four years in office on the 17th of January 2017, when his inauguration will take place. Oshie McQueen's DCU TV News.